Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of how to make a game, a first person shooter in the Blender game engine. Last time we got this neat looking gun done and today we're going to create arms uh, for our character. Uh, so as I mentioned, our character is a security guard. Uh, so we're going to need some um, arms with security guard. Oh yeah, I was watching a movie. <laughs> So watch Entangled. You caught me with my Pixar. Um, so what we're gonna do, or it's Disney, isn't it? That's a Disney movie. Um, I'm gonna look up human arm modeling reference. And a great website for this is 3D.sk. And I love this website. This website, if you're mature and you don't mind nudity, uh, you can actually go on. Um, yeah, Assassin's Creed, uh, Rainbow Six Vegas, Far Cry 3, they all use these guys' as textures and things like that. You can you go you can go age, you know, twenty, gender to man, and go arm or something like that. Uh, and if you search <coughs> uh, you know you can find all these these references of men and their arms. Unfortunately it costs money, but you know doesn't nowadays. That's, that's, hmm. Uh, you know what? I actually can't find an arm reference. So what I'm actually going to do is because I can't find an arm reference and uh, I already have arms. I'm going to go file, append. Uh, I'm not going to go, I think it's in my downloads. I'm going to grab this cube here. Maybe not. Uh, okay, let me try. I'm going to pause recording. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm going to import my arms. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, uh, Append, and I'm going to grab the object and go Arm. Okay, so now what we have is these this nice set of arms, and if we look at it, he's got these gloves on, so those look pretty good. If we play it, uh, they look pretty decent. What I am going to do though is with these guys' is texture and turn back face curling off so that uh, we can see through them. Or not through them. Now I'm going to grab this thing, I'm going to rotate Z 90, and I'm going to scale this thing to roughly the size of this character's hand. Uh, so I think that's how big that would be. Right? That seems reasonable. Cool. So if you look at that, we're going to put that right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go cursor to selected, and we'll call this character arms. We can go shift A and add a armature. And we need to go user preferences. I'm going to go to rigging and turn on rigify. Okay, now if I go shift A and I add a armature, we can add this human meta rig. Now if I go into edit mode here and grab all of this and scale this thing up quite large, go here and turn on x-axis mirror, we can start editing this and making it look a little bit nicer. So we can go to top view here and grab this to right there. Grab those to right there. Grab this to right there. And then we're going to put all these um, whatchamacallits, these bones, in the right place. So if we go to the side here, one second, guys. Sorry about that guys, my older brother's going to a party dressed as a lion, and uh, he needs my help making his tail, or putting makeup on, sorry. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to line those up to as good as we can get them. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but the closer it is, the better it's going to turn out, uh, and the less work you have to do later. If you like rigging, then you can... 
and you don't have to spend too much work on this, like you can do, you can make your vertex groups and things like that. But I'm personally not the biggest fan of it. I find it very time consuming and this, I prefer this over actually rigging anything. Uh, so in my opinion, it's better to do, you know, take the extra 10 minutes now rather than have to do weight painting and all that boring stuff. Because let's be honest, two likes weight painting. I'm sure someone out there does, but I don't. There are like select, select few things I like about uh, making the game. I like the uh, coding, like making the code for it and things like that. I like uh, doing the logic for it because I like to see how simple it is to get something to work the way you want it to. Uh, and I like modeling the items and texturing the items. Those are my favorite parts of making games and also playing the games. It's nice to see the reaction of your friends when you show them you made a game. But, you know. <clears throat> we all have our reasons. Okay, so now we can go into this view here and grab these bones to eat them these bones to beat them. We don't need them because we're not going to see that. So now we can grab this, shift, and go automatic weights. Uh, and let's actually uh, let's grab this, apply the mirror modifier. So now, <coughs> if I go into pose mode, uh, that moves around decently. Uh, the fingers, these parts I'm not too worried about because these always really turn out okay. And the part I'm worried about is the fingers, so let's try each one of these fingers. Thumb. Yeah, so everything seems to be working alright. Yeah, so now what we can do is, uh, what I forgot to do is turn screencast on again. But yeah, now we can go into object mode, and what I am going to do is go into um, this thing here, and we're going to call this, rather than meta rig, we're going to call it character armature. And I think we can go into this armature area here. Uh, And somewhere in here, let's turn this to Blender Game Engine D4. And uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, I know somewhere there's a. Ah, uh... oh, never mind. Okay. So, yeah, this is going to look good. And now with this, if we play that, that looks pretty good. So what we can do now is cursor to selected, and I'm going to go shift A, I'm going to add a cube, I'm going to edit mode, scale Z2, maybe 3, scale Z3, and uh, I'm going to bring this down to about, um, to about here, scale Z2, mm. Delete that because I messed it up. Delete. Come on. Let's just select it. Let's add a cube. Let's scale that out a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now we can add cursor selected. We'll add another cube. So these will be more forward, like so. That's going to be a lot smaller than that, there we go. Now what we can do is we can make, uh, we have to set this, this is going to be called character box, and that's going to be called character head. Okay, now what we can do is we can go uh, parent the 
character head to this box and grab this box and we want to make this box a character actor invisible uh, collision bounds box okay and if we go cursor to center and add a plane we can bring this down and scale it up with texture mode okay and now if we play this this box is invisible now which is exactly what we want now for this box we want to create this no collision we want the character arms to be no collision and we want the armature to be no collision this is where we're going to start bringing in some logic uh, <coughs> so for this logic here I'm going to go find this it's on my desktop somewhere uh, it's actually I have a blend file with a bunch of things on it too so I'm going to go Here, and this is a game called First Strike, and this is where it's located at the moment. I should save a copy of this, but okay. So this, uh, we're gonna call this Mouse Look, and this script is gonna be in the description. And we can paste it in, uh, and it's just a huge, huge script. Uh, it's got all these logic things. It's got. Uh, a bunch of stuff on it that I'm too lazy to explain and honestly I actually haven't read all th read through all this code uh, I didn't make it, it was made by another person it was made by Ryuzaki-san Ryu and I didn't actually um, uh, I didn't actually use, or I didn't actually write this and so here is me giving credits to this guy Okay, so now what we can do is we can do, with this character head, we can make this logic editor a bit bigger. We're going to go mo or mouse, sorry, with a movement, and this is going to be called mouse movement, mouse move. And uh, it's going to do a python, and that python is going to be mouse look. Okay. So now what we can do is if we go uh, play, we can look up, down, left, and right, left, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, everything's working all right, so we can go cursor to select it, uh, add a <coughs> camera, click that rotation, and rotate X on the 90, uh, rotate on the 90 by X, or whatever, you know what I mean, um, and parent to that, I'm going to call this camera, you don't have to do this, but this is just something I like to do, I just like to call it eyes. Now if we go through here and we play this, we can look around and we can see our arms over there. We'll, have, we'll be able to see our gun somewhere over here later, but now what we want to do is we want to be able to walk around. So with this box here, I'm going to add a uh, four keyboard properties, actually five, and this is going to be W key, A key. S key, D key, uh, hold on guys, my apologies guys, my family uh, wanted me to clean up the cat litter and, uh, with these headphones, I never hear anything because they're just so sound resistant, okay, anyway I'm going to add uh, five motion types, I think that's five, I can't count, this is going to be called forward, and this is going to be connected to this, and that's going to be on the y-axis. Let's call it point one. So if we play, uh, let's see how how fast that goes. That's not okay. Also, this needs to be parented to this. So let's see how that is. That's not that bad. That's not too bad. Okay, sweet. So we can remove these two. Okay, so this is going to have that. A key is going to be to the x axis, negative x. So let's call this negative 0.8 because you go a bit slower when you're going to your side. Alright, these also have to be character motions. Let's see if that's the same. A little jitter, isn't it? That's a lot smoother actually when I've. 
than stuff I've seen before. That's cool. I do think this was added for the game engine. Interesting. Okay, so now we can go S key uh, it's going to go right. It's going to be point zero eight. It's going to be called back. It's going to be point zero eight because we can all walk faster forward than we can to the left, right, and back. And this is going to be another character motion. Oh, did I not make that character motion? Okay, sweet. I keep forgetting to make that a character motion. Okay, and this is just going to be jump. So now we can go space, and this needs to be connected. So when we hold space, it just keeps jumping. When we tap it, it goes W, A, O. That explains it. We made it 0 0.08, not 0 0.8. <laughs> a, uh, D. Ah, uh, that's why. Okay, so D. So S is supposed to be back. That's my bad. So S is going to be this one, D is going to be this one. I always get those ones confused. Come on. There we go. W, A, S. S is going forward. Point zero eight. So I don't know why that took me so long. W, A, S, D. Look around, walk. And this guy is looking baller. Okay, so we can play and go to camera view. And when we look around, let's see this nice looking gun. We can look up and down, left, right, backwards, jump. And that looks pretty good. We can go forward and things like that. And I think this looks pretty good. And that gun looks pretty good too, actually. So now what we can do is we're going to start creating animations for this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to go to the animation scene, I'm going to textured, I'm going to just drag this downwards, and uh, go to action editor, I'm going to create a new, uh, delete that action, and grab these guys here, I'm going to pose mode, and uh, something you do need to do is I'm going to get a worth of graphic first off, uh, go to 7, rotate, Y90, uh, rotate Y180, rotate Z90, okay, so now we can just grab this guy, and, and, uh, and we can just make that a little bit cleaner, and kind of, look like that, and this is going to be parented uh, to this bone here. Control the bone, okay? And so when that moves around, that's going to follow it. But, we can still move this hand and all these fingers. Okay? So, what did I do wrong here? Uh, I know exactly what I did wrong. That's actually on the wrong side. So it should be like this. Okay. And this gun right here, unless you want your character to be left handed, which there's nothing wrong with. You could make him or her left handed if you want. But for the purpose of my game, because most people are right handed, my character is going to be right-handed. Cool. So we can go like that again and parent it to that bone 
I'm not sure what relative does. Yeah, we'll just go like that. All right, just to be safe. So now again, we can rotate that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a uh, a pose for this guy. And it's gonna be a natural pose where he's holding his uh, his gun. Cool. So what we can do is we're going to rotate this on the y-axis just a little bit. Now we're going to go to the side view. Rotate this on the x-axis. Rotate this on the x-axis. Go into 7. Rotate Z. Rotate Z. Rotate Z. And then go to this guy here, rotate Z. Uh, and just kind of get that fairly close. Uh, so the gun's gonna be, let's actually get the gun going first. So the gun's gonna be about right there. And then let's get this uh, arm going. One second, you guys. Sorry, my parents are having guests over and it's just, it is getting kind of frustrating. Okay. So I'm going to clear parent and keep the transformation. Uh, and I'm actually just going to rotate this guy. Oh my god, my brother reeks of cologne. Poof. Smell that one. My goodness, that is a lot of cologne right now. Okay, so what we can do uh, is go like this. And now we can start uh, <coughs> sorry uh, character, uh, not character modeling, or sorry um, you know what I mean. Uh, animating this guy. So we're going to grab his basic parts, his fingers and things like that. And just kind of basic, basic, basic modeling. Er, um, fuck. Animating. Sorry for swearing. I'm trying not to swear so that this thing is friendly for everyone, but, uh, you know, sometimes I just get frustrated. And I read somewhere that swearing is like the best way to alleviate stress. That's not true, I didn't read that, but it is for me. Um, so yeah, we can just, very basic animation for this guy. I got it right. Um, you know, nothing too fancy. Literally just grabbing this gun. In, in the most like basic way possible, uh, and I'm going to. Oh, I have to do this thumb first, actually. So if we save that, if we look at that, that looks pretty good when we play. I uh, actually know we're in pose mode. So I'm going to grab all these, and I'm going to go lock, or sorry, rotation. And uh, this is going to be at zero. And something we do need to do is go to this area here and make this 1920 by 1080. Make it full screen desktop. And let's go frame rate, animation frame rate at 30 frames per second. Okay. And uh, the game itself is going to be at 60 frames per second. So now what we can do is if we go out of pose or object mode. Uh, oh, we do have to parent this gun to this bone here. Bone. Okay, so now if we go object mode and play. Now we have a character holding a gun, and that looks pretty darn good. Something that's bothering me though is with this uh, thumb, the fact that I can't see it 
makes it look like there isn't a thumb. And even though this isn't as realistic, I'm going to bring this thumb out just a little bit so I can actually see it, because otherwise it makes me feel like there is no thumb there. And that's kind of weird if you think about it. Okay, so now what we can do is go to animation here. I'm going to grab this uh, and actually put it over the first one. That's going to be the, the default one. And so this first animation is going to start at zero. And this is going to be called character arm aim. Okay. And it's going to start at one. And it's going to end at like 20 ish. And at 20 ish, uh, this gun will, or sorry, no, no, this is not called aim. This is called character arm recoil okay and so with the recoil all that's going to happen is it's going to go from here and this is going to start or end at three sorry it's going to rotate it on the x-axis like so so if we play that it's just a very basic quick animation Okay, and now we're gonna grab this cam, uh, this uh, yeah, the camera here. And we're gonna create a new thing for this, and this is gonna be called camera aim. So this is gonna be on one. That's gonna be lock rot scale, and on twenty, we will have moved it. Okay, let's go back to this guy here. And we're gonna shift you this and bring it over here. And that's not the actual length or anything like that. But now when I'm model or when I'm doing this, and I go to frame 20, and I grab this to animate the recoil or the aim, sorry, it looks a bit better. So this is gonna be lock rot scale aim. So from 0 to 20, cool. So now what we can do is we can go back to default, and with this camera, it's going to be mouse, right button, that's what we call it, right mouse, is going to play the action uh, camera aim from 1 to 20. And so now if we do this, uh, we actually want to change this to flipper. So as long as we're holding it, it looks good. When we let go, he lets go. So it's like that. Because when you're actually moving or aiming, you're not most, um, most of the time, you're not actually moving your gun to your face. You are a little bit, but it's mainly you're moving your head down and it doesn't really seem like it, but it actually is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is with this guy, it's going to be mouse left button. And this is going to be tap with the frequency of, let's call it 10. Uh, it's going to play the action camera aim recoil from 1 to 3. So now if we do that, We want to make this flipper again. I guess we'll make it loop stop. And we want to make the frequency on this a little bit higher, so we'll make it like a full 30 ticks. What's that make it to? Let's go loop end. Play. Hmm, interesting. Okay, normal. Okay, let's try this. Let's go to 12 ish. I'll make this flipper. So now our character. Oh, where'd I go? Let's turn this up a little bit. Okay, now 
now something's weird is happening because this is inverted now. So we're going to alt the parent and keep the transformation. And now we can reparent everything. So now if we press play, we can aim and shoot. And let's actually try just going like this with this. Um, what's the cube? Oh, we actually want to call this, <coughs> sorry, magazine. Uh, and with this guy here, <coughs> let's actually try turning off this frequency. Maybe tap. Level. Interesting. All right, well, we'll keep that on, I guess, then, so we can't overspam it. Now, the other thing we want to do, <coughs> pardon me, is we want to go to animation, and we're going to go to the side view here, and on frame one, we'll call this um, slide recoil. This is going to be lock rot scale, and on frame three, it's going to be lock rot scale. Okay, so now we can go back to default and select it. This is going to be called slide, by the way. Okay, cool. So now what happens is when we can shift like these, so when you press the left mouse, it's also going to play this recoil action called slide recoil from one to three. And it's going to play this as a flipper as well. So that's how that works. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice here for some reason. <clears throat> there we go. A little bit better, I guess. So now when we shoot, the slide goes back. But for some reason, we can hold this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to animation and I'm going to grab this over by one frame and shift and select the other one. So let's go back to here now. Grab it right there. And shift D like that. So now if we go back into default, no matter what, when we play... Uh, and actually we can take this off flipper now. This has to be play, otherwise it's going to mess up. So now, when we shoot... We can shoot multiple times in a row. Let's go. Okay, uh, but what I am going to do is go back to animation, grab these two, and bring it over by one frame. Right, so we're actually going to go back to default now and end that at four. And that's just going to make that look a little bit better. And we can shoot multiple times in a row. I'm going to bump that frequency up to 30 now. We'll see how that looks. That's too much, so let's go 20. Bang, 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 bang. That works for me. It's a decent fire rate. Uh, actually, let's turn that down, I guess, a little bit lower. Let's go 15. That'll be a nice even number because you can shoot faster than it anyways, right? So it's like, may as well. Okay, so now what we can do is we are going to... Um, Oh yeah, so now what will happen is if we play, we can aim, shoot, shoot this way, and everything looks pretty good. Um, so how much time are we at? We are at 34 minutes. <coughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of things. Uh, and those things, we're going to go cursor to select it, and we're going to add a empty. And this is going to be plain axes, and we're going to put it just in front of here, and scale it down, and parent it to uh, the slide, or I'm sorry, no, 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 we're pairing it, parenting it to uh, this gun here. So it's parented to that, perfect. Now what's going to happen is we're going to rename this, and this is going to be called um, uh, bullet adder. I don't know a better name for it, so that's what it's going to be. 
we're going to shift D and select this to right here. And this is going to be called shell adder. Cool. And we can parent the shell adder, or actually it should be parented already, perfect. So with the bullet adder, we're going to shift select with this slide, because with the bullet adder, what happens is it's going to edit and add an object. And it's also going to edit and add an object for a time of one, and this is going to be called muzzle flash. So what we need to do now is we need to add a muzzle flash object. So we're going to go on this far layer right here, cursor to uh, select to center, sorry. And we can see the gun is, fainting, uh, is facing the negative y direction. So let's go on this very bottom layer. We're going to add a bullet. So I'm going to go to circle. I'm going to go that to like ten. Let's try like eight. So eight looks good. You know, it doesn't have to be too, too fancy. Uh, and we're gonna rotate this by ninety on the x-axis. And uh, this is just gonna be a basic bullet. That's all it's going to be. Um, this is going to be smooth shading. And this is going to be called bullet. And this is going to have a uh, gold material. And we'll call this bullet again. And now if we go back and get both layers, and we edit this thing, we can make it roughly the size of a bullet that would come out of this clip. So like that. And now we can go origin to geometry. Just kidding. There we go. And uh, now we can add a physics option. And this is going to be called dynamic. Um, uh, it's going to be a collision bounce box. Actually, let's see. I like capsule actually because that's big enough to make a impact. So now what we can do is also go back to this there and we're going to go cursor to select it, add a plane, go to x90, and this is going to be roughly the same size as this but a bit bigger. It's like right there. We're going to view that from the front, go to texture mode, and this uh, is going, plane is going to be called um, muzzle flare. And this thing right here is going to be no collision, that reminds me. This gun and everything up here also has to be no collision. Otherwise we're going to have issues later when we get into other things. Now what we can do is we can go back to right here, and uh, I'm actually going to add a empty on this, or sorry, a hemi on this layer so that it's you can see everything. And this guy here, we're actually going to go online. <coughs> and we're going to Google muzzle flash front. Okay, and any of these will do. Um, I like to grab. Let's say, I don't know, this one looks good. We'll grab this one. Uh, actually, let's, let's, let's actually go uh, keyed or alpha. And that will get us one that usually is alpha already. But I can't find one. Um, but that's okay because uh, yeah, all you have to do is download one that's alpha or you can even just get a black one and take the black out yourself with an eraser tool or with the pen tool or something like that. Um, I actually already have one. Uh, so I'm going to go um, onto my desktop here. I have it somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, here it is. 
oops, not sounds, textures, weapons. Uh, and I'm going to bring this in, and this is going to be called muzzle flash. So now, this muzzle flash is going to have a new texture. We're going to unwrap this. And this is going to be called muzzle flash. I didn't mean to hit that. Oops. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this thing here is going to be shadeless. It's going to have a transparency all the way down. And we're going to add a new texture for this called Muzzle Flash. And it's going to be Image or Movie. We're going to open our image here under Weapons. And this is going to be generated to UV Alpha. Okay, and just like that, we've created a nice little thing for this. Uh, it looks pretty good. You can go normal or whatever you want to do. Uh, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go cursor just selected, and I'm going to add a point lamp. And this point lamp is going to have a dis or energy of 0.5, and the color is going to be this color. Okay. Uh, and the point lamp is going to be parented to the muzzle flare. Okay, so it adds that light. And the muzzle flare is going to have back face curling off. Okay, so we can see it from both sides. So when we click this thing, is also when we left mouse, this thing's going to add a bullet and a muzzle flares. Let's look for muzzle flare. So now if we go press play, you can see it, although it's on the wrong, wrong axis. So let's rotate X by 90. Let's try that. There we go. So now it's adding a muzzle flare. And it has a bit of light to it that you can briefly see. It looks pretty good, but now we need to add a bullet. So this bullet here is going to have a always um, motion. It's going to be always motion on the negative y to go forward. Uh, and it's going to be a linear local velocity. Let's call it negative 200 or something like that. So now when we add one, or if we look on this there and we play, uh, we'll see it go flying as soon as we play make it like 10 just so we can see it but like negative 100 even that's pretty fast let's keep it at that actually let's keep it like negative 70 just so we can see it for now so if we play now we actually can't see it because it's going so fast we'll go or no wait uh we can see it we just we haven't added it so we actually have to add the bullet and we're going to add it for an infinite infinite amount of time okay so now we can see it and it's going, uh, it's looking pretty good. Although, looks a little fake. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to bring it forward just a little bit. Something I'm going to do is grab this end here and extrude that a little bit. Now we can go origin to geometry and do another capsule. And now what we can do is we can make this negative 150. So it's an actual, like, more realistic speed. And now what's going to happen is when we add it, it's going to look like it's flying through. See, it's going faster now, but it's going to look like it's whizzing by uh, because it's a bit longer. Yeah, so that's all we have to do. And just like that, you guys, we've created a gun with a muzzle flare that shoots bullets. Something I am going to do, though, is whenever you shoot a bullet, a shell comes out. So we're going to go back to this layer here. Cursor to selected. Did I do origin? Origin to geometry? I did. Okay. We're going to add a circle. This circle is going to have five, whatchamacallits. Actually, we'll make it six. Uh, we'll make, we may as well make it eight if we're going to take the time to do that. Uh, may as well make it look good. I just say this because it's not a huge deal. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we're going to bring this over in front of the bullet here and we're going to pretend like this is the shell so we're going to extrude it like to right here okay extrude
extrude it outwards, scale it, extrude it downwards. It's about, I don't know how big a lock bullet really is, so let's call it like right there. Scale. Extrude this, scale it, extrude it, and face, and smooth, and that's going to have a just gray material, we call this bullet, okay. So yeah, that should look okay, and we're going to call this bullet shell. And this thing is going to have it always motion again. And this is going to be no collision. So it's going to have it always motion. And it's going to be going... Uh, that's looking really weird. Why is it like that? Am I looking at... I'm looking at it from upside down. That's why it's like that. I was like, that's weird. Okay, so now this is going to have it always. And it's always going to be going on the negative, or on the x, sorry, by negative point, we'll call it negative point one, and on the z, by point one. So if we play, and we'll actually make this negative point two, and point two, so it's a bit faster, as if it just whizzed out of a gun. Uh, and now we can go back here, and this thing, whenever we're going, we shoot, it is going to add, it's going to edit object, and it's going to add a bullet shell, let's call it for a time of 5, okay, call this bullet shell, and now if we play, it adds a shell flying, okay, and, uh, so that looks pretty good. That's just a little extra bit of detail that can help make it just helps sell your game like that much more, right? Like, I mean, if you could do it, why not do it? Is my is my theory. If you're gonna spend the time to make a game, do it right. Is uh, kind of what the way I look at it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is this arm really doesn't matter. It comes in when we're gonna use the melee, but that's pretty much it. Um, but how much time are we at? We are at 47 minutes, so I'm going to cut this episode off because we have done everything we wanted to do. We have a gun that shoots a bullet. We have a gun that has muzzle flare. We have a gun that recoils, a gun that aims, and a gun that has bullet shells. We also have a character that can jump, walk, and look around. So next episode, we're going to be doing a couple of other things. We're going to start off by probably rigging the gun so that the gun can uh, can um, reload and things like that. We're going to get some reload cycles in there. And uh, we'll start working on some other things. Uh, so yeah, please tune in next time, you guys. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,